Today, uh, e-commerce represents about 10% of uh, total retail sales in the U.S., uh, more in some emerging economies, actually. And I think that it's going to grow to a much bigger percentage, and more and more categories of retail are now going online. So I think it's a business that it's in its infancy, and the runway is very long, and we're very excited to play a role in it. And I think the biggest trends in that business that affect us is that the supply chain is getting faster. People want immediacy. They want to order stuff and get it right away. And they want lots of choice. So the larger number of SKUs and the less patient customer with respect to getting their goods means that logistic facilities need to come closer to these major urban areas, which of course plays right into our strategy. So we're really excited. We had a good business before e-commerce, but e-commerce has been a tremendous tailwind which has take, taken our good business and turned it into a great business. If you were to look at the list of our top 25 customers, you'd walk away with a couple of conclusions. Number one, it's an extremely diversified set of customers. The top 25 represent about 20% of our revenues. And our largest customer, Amazon, represents about 3.5% of our revenues. So it's a very diversified customer base. But as a result of its diversification, it gives us a window into many, many businesses around the world. And uh, all the players that are active in the supply chain business, including DHL, most of the large 3PLs, and pretty much anybody who's in the business of moving boxes from point A to point B. And we are most useful uh, to those customers that need to expand their business quickly on a global scale. Uh, that their needs are more than one building here or one building there. And we find as being part of the plug-and-play ecosystem in real estate and in logistics supply chain, we have better access to those customers and our dialogue with those customers happens at a much more strategic level with people who are in charge of innovation in our company and their companies. And it's no longer about a real estate negotiation, but it's more about how do we grow our businesses better together. The reason we were very interested to work with Plug and Play is first a personal one. I'd known Saeed maybe for about 50 years and had a lot of confidence in his vision and his abilities to execute on that vision. But there was a really good business reason for it too. We're headquartered in Silicon Valley, so it wasn't because we didn't have access to these technology companies and these startups. So we're very close to this ecosystem. We have a lot of friends that are involved in the business, et cetera, et cetera. But we thought even with those advantages, even with the advantage of being located here, it was really important to work with Plug and Play to even expand our universe of companies that we were exposed to, and more importantly, help these companies get to scale and become successful much faster than they would otherwise. So we'll see if it works, but I'm pretty confident that it will.